In this video, I will show you a Google Chrome extension that will change the way you work online and will save you hours and hours of time. And it's called TextBlaze. And what is TextBlaze? It's a text expander. In other words, you can write a small snippet of text and TextBlaze expands it out to a more full sentence, paragraph, even a whole email or a form even that you could send someone. TextBlaze is great for educators, social media influencers, customer service agents, and anyone else that finds themselves typing the same text over and over and over. Let's take a look at how it works. The best way to get started using TextBlaze is to receive an invitation from someone already using TextBlaze. The reason why is because you'll get either one month or two months of the pro version for free. That invitation can also be simply through a link. If you look in the description below this video, I include a link that for right now gives you two months free if you use it to sign up. Alternatively, you could just go to blaze.today and sign up on your own. Either way, once you've signed up for TextBlaze, you'll be prompted to install the Google Chrome add-in. And I've heard that this also works for Microsoft Edge. I haven't tested that myself, but here I am in my dashboard at blaze.today. And when I did sign up, I did agree to install the TextBlaze extension. The thing is, I don't see it here in my list of extensions. The reason why is because it's brand new to this account and I have to click here on this extensions button and go down and choose text blaze and I'm going to pin it to my list of extensions. Okay, so I've got my account set up and I've got the Google Chrome text blaze extension. Let's take a look at how TextBlaze can help me and you to save lots of time and effort. So in my TextBlaze account, it's giving me some sample snippets, and this is just for demonstration purposes only. It says to type forward slash style, and when I do, it's replaced with more complicated text. The second example, forward slash D8. And there's all these other demos that you can try. Just by clicking here, it will teach you how to do each of these things in TextBlaze. But let's start creating our own TextBlaze snippets. Here in the upper left, there are two main buttons that I'll use over and over as I use TextBlaze. The first lets me create a new snippet. The second button lets me create a snippet folder. And in my case, I want to start with a snippet folder. So I click there and I get a new blank folder. I can always right click on it to rename the folder and I'll call this education. As an educator, I would like a list of snippets that I can use to save me lots of time as I grade online work. While I'm at it, I'm adding a second folder. This one will be used for online gaming and a third, this one's gonna be for my small business. Now that I've got some folders, I can easily click on one of those folders and click this plus sign to add my first blank snippet. Here it is, and here at the right, a form appears, and I can use this form to create the snippet. Now before I actually create this snippet, I want to show you why I feel so strongly about this tool, TextBlaze, and how it's helping me as a teacher and also in other aspects of my life. Here I am in Canvas in a class that I'm teaching, and as I'm grading the work of these students, I find myself using similar language over and over and over. For example, I've typed in some text here, and chances are that other students in the same class will receive similar feedback from me. Now I could type that again and again and again, or I could switch over to TextBlaze and put in the text that I want inserted, and then I need to put in a name for this new snippet. I'll just call this Excellent Gamification Plan. And then here at the right, I'm gonna put in a shortcut that I'll have to type in order to produce this text here. How about forward slash EXG? Now let's try it out. Here in the gradebook in Canvas, Instead of typing out my message word by word, I'm just gonna put in forward slash EXG. And by typing those four keys in that sequence, it saved me typing all of the rest of these characters. That is just so smooth and priceless, really, for just about anyone who works a lot online. Now, what if I would like to personalize this message a little better? For example, I would like to use Amy's name in the message itself so that she really feels that this comment applies to her and that I'm personalizing it to her. In TextBlaze, all I would need to do is find the spot where I'd like her name to appear, put in a space in this case, and I'll put in a left curly bracket. And then I'll type the word cursor and then the right curly bracket. You'll notice that TextBlaze changes the highlight color of that text. 
And now, next time I use this keyboard shortcut, it's going to give me a little bit different results that can be more easily personalized. Let's take a look, this time in Google Classroom. So I'm gonna click on this assignment, and I've selected a specific student, and I'll click here to add a private comment. I'll put forward slash EXG, and notice what it's done. TextBlaze has put in the same exact text, but it's placed my cursor exactly where I typed the word cursor. So now I can easily add the name of the student and then click to post the response. So imagine having a whole folder full of snippets like this that take long, complicated text that's important and shortens it to something that you can quickly type. But then you can also customize. How powerful would that be and how much time would it save you? I'm gonna click up here on the plus sign again to add another snippet. This one is going to be a message for people who need to post more in the discussion board. I'll have the shortcut be M-O-D-I-S for more discussion. And then I'll type in here the full message. Okay, so I've typed that up. But I want to point out some other things you can do with TextBlaze that you can't with other text expanders. Notice that for my message here, I have a toolbar. And using the tools on that toolbar, I can add all sorts of formatting to my text. I can make this italicized, I can underline text, I can bold certain text, I can even add photos, and it will upload those photos into TextBlaze. In this case, it doesn't make sense to have the photo, so I'll delete it. I can also put in links just by highlighting text, clicking the link button, and then I can put in the link that I want to include. Other things I can do include highlighting, changing the font color, adding bullets, and much, much more. And now let's try the shortcut. This time I'm gonna try it in Google Docs. So forward slash M-O-D-I-S. There's my text, the italics, the highlighting color, the link. All of this formatting has automatically been put into my document. Now in order for the formatting to work, you have to be putting it into a system that can handle it. So Google Docs can handle bold, it can handle italics, highlighting, etc. And so they worked. But if I try to use this same snippet in a system that doesn't allow for those things, then of course it wouldn't work. Let's look at two other cool features that you can use in TextBlaze. I'm gonna add a new snippet and I'm gonna call this one, Please Read. For the shortcut, this time I'm not gonna use forward slash. You don't have to use forward slash. But the nice thing about forward slash is if you use it, chances are you probably won't accidentally type the shortcut when you don't mean to. But I'm just gonna use PLSRD as the shortcut for Please Read. And then here, I'll just type something like, Students, please read the following paragraphs. I'll put in a colon, I'll tap return or enter on the keyboard, and then I'll put in a left curly bracket, and I'll just type clipboard, and then a right curly bracket. I'll tap enter a couple of times, and then I'll type something like, what is the main idea of these paragraphs? Now having created this, watch what I can do. I could go to a web page and click and drag to highlight text, copy that text, and then go to my classroom, whether it's in Canvas or Google Classroom or anywhere else that's an online environment. And then I can type in my keyboard shortcut and look what it does. It puts in the snippet that I typed, but it also puts whatever text I had copied also into the document. And I could have included quotes. That would have been a good idea. That way this exact quote from the newspaper would have been marked as clearly a quote. But still, how powerful is that? Now it's very possible to use these tools to create shortcuts and snippets that produce not just a few paragraphs, but maybe an entire document, perhaps a contract or an invoice or things like that that you could insert into Google Docs or another online environment just with a short keyboard shortcut. I also want to point out that down here at the bottom of the snippet screen, I have some dynamic content that I can pull into my snippets. For example, the current date. Maybe I want the long full date. So I just click there and it's automatically added to my snippet. What about the current time? I could do that as well. I could add forms and other dynamic content. And there are even more dynamic features that you can add in to your text blaze if you'd like. So I hope that you can see how powerful text blaze can be for anyone that types a lot of content, especially similar content over and over and over. So it's fantastic for teachers leaving feedback for their students. It's fantastic for small business owners or anyone that works in a business environment, for administrative assistants, customer service agents, programmers and coders, and on and on. TextBlaze will end up saving you hours and days of your life 
because you're able to type much more quickly than you otherwise could. Now TextBlaze does have a free option, but you're limited to 20 snippets or fewer. But if that's all you need, that's gonna be a great option for you. But notice that the pro account is only $3 per month. That's less than $40 a year. And with all the time that you'll be saving, it's a great option. And remember to look in the description below this video and you'll get at least one month of pro for free. And for at least a limited time, you'll be able to get two months of pro for free. If there's a lot of interest in this video on TextBlaze, I'd love to make a follow-up video that shows some of the advanced, very exciting things that you can do with TextBlaze. If you're interested, leave a comment in the description below the video. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, one of the best ways is to click the thanks button below the video. You could also support me on Patreon or by buying channel merch. And you'll find information about those options in the description below the video.